Welcome back to Ready Player Rick guys, hope you're doing really well. So I thought I'd check out Subnautica in VR. I played this a few years back on my normal console, but I really fancy giving it a go on uh, VR to see what it's like. So let's check it out guys. Yeah. Launch in 3, 2, 1. Oh, I remember this. the medikit, that'll keep making rep medikits. So, first things we need to do is uh, we're gonna need some things. We're gonna need a, an O2 tank so we can breathe underwater a bit longer. Some fins. That first aid kit gets made over there, thankfully. Uh, what else will we need? At a later stage we'll need a repair toolkit. I think I know how to find most of this stuff, except for the cave sulfur I'm not too sure on. But right, let's um let's go upstairs quickly. Pretty messed up. Okay. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. We can repair this pod though, uh, at a later stage. Let's just get out there for now. And see what we can see. So, oh, something here. We could probably use this. Yep, yeah, definitely need metal. New creature discovered. Got a fish. That'll do for some food. Grab a bit of air. Okay, let's go back down. Oh. You see this fish here, you can make New use it to make discovered. water, filtered water. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilising alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay. God, this is really quite cool in VR. I mean, it was good on the standard version, but... Oxygen. Oh! Yeah, I haven't got... I can't breathe for very long underwater. Not at the minute. <laughs> right, let's go back to the pod quickly. Because we've got something we can use as food and as water now. Let's keep these food and water topped up. Gotta fix that later. And that later. Okay, let's get him some water. Let's get him some food. Okay. Water, food. Probably need to give him that medikit because it's. Yeah, okay. That'd produce more medikits, but it's quite slow. But at least it's there. Probably need to get him some more water, he's still a bit hungry. I'll try and grab a few different fishes that I want that. I want that one for water. Got him. Oh, these things. If you go over them, they produce air. Saves you going up to the surface for air. Uh, they're dotted around different locations. See if we can find some metal. Ooh. Oh, there's some scrap metal there. Lovely. You can turn this. You can use that to make metal for building things with. Oxygen. I know. 
Can't breathe underwater for very long at the moment. It's fine. Right. Let's go back and then I need to check what we need. I think we need a knife. We need to make a knife. Let's go back in here for now. Cool, so we've got a couple of wars on us. Sort some out for a little bit. What do we need for? So, silicone rubber. We have to go into the weeds for that. To find these round orange type things you can harvest. But there is these big fish that like to kill you in there. But not much else we can do about that. Um, we're gonna have to do it. Oh yeah, might as well transfer that stuff for salvage. Something useful. Oh, we can make a... Oh nice, an O2 tank ready out of that. Oh, wicked. Breathe underwater a little bit longer. Wait. New blueprint acquired. What's this? Pipe. A chain of pipe can be used transport breathable air from a functional pump. Float an air pump. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't use that last time, but it's because I had a big submarine and a big base last time, but I'm sure that'll come in handy. So... Okay. I'm sure that you should better get a knife. Just trying to remember where I'm from. I think you have to get the blueprints for the knife somehow. Oh, there, there it is, sorry. I again need some of that stuff, okay. I know kind of where we have to go. It's not going to be great. Because we are fairly defenseless at the moment. We're going to have to go to these area where these vines are and these... I can't remember what they're called. These big ass fish. Quite keen on eating you. There are these weird areas. I'm just going to quickly go up for some air, and then we're going to go back down, and we're going to try and grab what we need quickly and get out of there. I'm going to try and grab quite a few of them if I can. It saves us going back and forth too often at first. There's more metal here. I might grab some of this as well. Quickly, like. Yes. Okay, here we go, here we go. Watch out for these. Oh, I need to watch out. Yeah. New blueprint acquired. Okay, I haven't seen any of those things yet. Do stalk you sometimes. 30 seconds. Oh, get some air. There they are. There's big fish with massive teeth. <laughs> Let's go grab some air anyway. Alright, you can swim quicker underwater, so it's better, better to stick underwater. Grab that for. yep. Follow me, any of them? They do follow you sometimes. No, I think we're okay, but it's getting dark. Um, they come out more in the dark as well. Is that metal over there? We might as well grab that while we can. Why we're here and why we've seen it, grab it. Oh, full. Okay. Fair enough. Ready with a medical kit. Alright, let's 
just do the water and food first. So it's good to keep that topped up. In a second. Alright, I need to put some stuff in here then. I won't better fabricate anything otherwise. for now. I'll grab that back in a minute. There we go. Not sure how many of these are grabbed. I'll grab as many as I could quickly. You can literally build like a massive base in this. Obviously it's a bit basic at first and you've just got this pod. And you can build a big submarine, um, a little fast speedy submarine. From what I remember, this is just going off memory. Right, we need that, that'll help us move along a little bit faster. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Scrap that scrap metal back. And we'll put this silicone rubber we've made into storage for now. Oh, I need to eat something. Luckily I've got Uh, right. Some more metal. Ah, scrap. And you can find metal, not just by scrap metal as well. You can find it through um, sort of mining, which is kind of handy. We need for the knife. Silicon rubber. Oh. Kept some on me. Okay, we'll just grab a couple of these and back. Oh, there's food in there. Grab that. Oh, and water. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Gee, we'll leave two water in there, but we'll just grab the food. Knife. Okay. This is literally the only weapon you have. I mean, later on, Weapons you can get a big submarine and it's a bit different. Survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. There you go. The knife remains the only exception. Okay, so. Okay. So we've got two water in the got a knife now. It's a bit dodgy going out there at night. Those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, those big fish, but they're everywhere. Let's have a look. I'll risk it quickly. Let's see if we can grab anything quick. Yeah. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Probably not too far away. And visibility's obviously a bit low as well. You might not see him to the last minute. Those things drop out like thing, uh, these little pods that can sort of stun you and damage you, so you don't want to get too close to them. Other than that, they're not really a danger. New creature discovered. Okay, so we've grabbed a few fish. Like I said, it is a bit riskier at night. And you need the visibility to be able to look around, really, and find things. Oh! Oxygen. Okay, we're not too far down, so we're up. Okay, we've got air again. Get down. Looks 
sunlight slowly that's how I come back oh good let's quickly go back into the pod so local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Thank you. <laughs> so, we need to make a battery. What do we need to make a battery? Acid mushrooms and copper ore. Okay. We're we'll going to have a look for that. Oh, there's acid mushrooms. They're, I think they're quite common and easy to get, thankfully. Now we need copper ore. definitely increases his speed a little bit where you've got the fins on which is good there's some more metal down there, might as well grab that while we're here have to go grab some air let's go back down Gold. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. We do need sulfur. If we could find it now, that'd be great. I don't think we'd find it this early. I can't remember where it is, to be honest. Is this sulfur? No, but we'll take it. Silver based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. What else can we grab in here? Copper is an nice. essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. <laughs> unlikely, but plausible. Thank you. <laughs> just grabbing some air here. Okay. Definitely different in VR. I mean, it's been a while since I played this. But that's cool. I plan on building a big base at some point. It might take a little while to get to that stage. Alright, so we found a few bits and pieces. Far away, away from the pod. Not that far. Let's try and remember this. I reckon the sulfur's got to be down here somewhere near those things, which I do not like. I can't for the life of me remember what they're called now. Right, let's go back. Anyway, see if we find anything on the way. See anything else to collect at the minute? Right, let's go back to the pod. Where's the pod gone? There it is, right above me. Right, we've got some bits. Oh, salvage our metal first. Glass.
battery, here we go. Blueprint acquired. Yep. Ah, scanner. So the only thing I'm missing for the repair tool is the cave so far. I built a scanner anyway. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Okay. Right. So let's let him have some water. Uh, food. And we'll grab. I think we've got some water in here. I'll we'll chuck these acid mushrooms in there. Keep that food on us. Keep some of this stuff on us. Yeah, we'll keep this on us. Get rid of that. And the silicone. And grab the water. I'm not going to have that right now, but we'll have it soon. There's an air thing there, that's handy. Stuff I can make glass with. Oh, I hate these things. It can be very annoying, those things. As you see, it just damaged me. Well, not very much. 30 seconds. Right, I just need some air. Give me some air. Bubble. More air, please. Nice. Yes. Okay. We're going to go down here because we've got an air supply down here anyway. What's this? Some more things to harvest in there. Just topping up my air first. This a creature egg. Okay. Oh, <laughs> see through the walls there. Sulfur. I can really do that, and then I can get the repair tool and repair my pod. Or make the repair tool and repair my pod. Grab a fish, throw in a bit. Throw in a bit. Oh, top up the air again quickly. Oh, nasty little bugger. Oh, <laughs> surprised me. <laughs> Are you thinking it was relatively safe down there? Right, I'm going to have to go up for some air then. 30 seconds. I know, I know, that's so why I'm going up. Do some of this cave self on it. It's such a cool game. This is a very big game as well. I've just, you know, swimming around with loads of areas to explore. Well, to me, there is anyway, from what I remember. I haven't played it properly for a while. Let's grab this. Who is going to need metal? Oh, air supply, sweet. Oh, I'm just 
just wait here for a minute. Oh, yeah. We'll have another one or two. Just gets top right up. We've got a very big air tank at the minute, so. Is this where I was before? I feel like it is, when that little fish nibbled on me. It's starting to get dark, so I'm going to have to watch it. It's not dark yet, but you can tell it's going to get dark soon. I can't for the life of me remember where you can get the cave sulfur from. I mean, cave obviously, but... I've been in a cave or two and haven't seen it. Found other stuff. Which will come in handy, but. It's starting to get dark now. Just trying to check every nook and cranny in this bit to find this, see if I can find this cave sulfur, but I cannot seem to find it still. Interesting. Like I said, these are relatively harmless. Just left. They start spewing that stuff out like that. You don't want to be near that. Oh, okay. Couldn't get it to work first. right above me. It's a pretty cool, cool game guys. Uh, it's on sale at Steam at the minute if you're interested. A few more supplies. Let's cook some fish. So, oh, actually, can I get it now? I feel that. Yes. That give us more air. Wicked. Not doing too bad here. Just desperately need... Um, cave sulphur. I've already got silicone rubber in that storage over there. Okay. It's getting dark now, so it's a bit risky going out there. I can't go out to the caves and stuff. Let's see if we can um, let's bring up the menu. Let's equip this. 
Boy, look at that, 135. That's much better. What else did I have on me there? Was... Oh, scrap metal, yeah, we sort that out. Cool. Right, need some water, don't he? Right, got water here. Alright, sorted for water now. We've still got one on us. We've got fish on us. Not two fish. And this nutrient block. So we're good for now. So, making progress slowly. Really want the repair tool so I can fix this. And this. But uh, I think we'll leave it there for now, guys. I think that gives you a sort of a gist of the game if you're interested in it. Like I said, you can build up uh, bases and all sorts later on and build a sub big submarine, a little submarine, and there's other things as well. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, you know, give me a like. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see my future VR content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification.